Hello, beautiful, lovely souls. My name is Lenise and welcome, oh, welcome back to my channel. Today I kind of was inspired to talk with you about the four elements. Here in Berlin, where I live right now, it's more windy in autumn and in winter than in the city I lived before. And this kind of inspired me to do a video about the four elements and how you can use it, how you can use it for your self-love journey, for your spiritual journey, for your inner healing and your own magic. Because magic is nothing crazy or uncommon or something weird or, some, or something like this. Magic is all around you. For me, magic simply is life with all its beauty, all its shadow. And you can find magic everywhere. You can find it inside you and around you. And you can find this magic in those four elements and use them for your own good and for the good of others. And today we start with the element air, how you can use it for your spiritual self-love inner healing journey. Let's begin. In general, the element air represents wisdom, reason, thoughts and intellectual pursuits. The element air is quick and it's freely. In astrology, the element air is the ruler for the zodiac signs Gemini, Aquarius and Libra. And this element can help with reducing anxious, disrupting thoughts and it can help to bring more clarity. And I like to use this element for clarity and releasing. For example, when I'm outside on a windy day, when I'm walking or something like this, I like to imagine that the wind, the blowing wind outside is blowing away all my worries, blowing it all off, all my worries, all my fears, my heavy thoughts and <laughs> stress and everything. Like it's blowing it all off. It's all off from me. And I like to imagine those things when I'm outside on a windy day. And then I like to say to myself, I let go and I am free. And this helps me a lot for letting go and for cleaning my mind, for clearing my mind, my aura, my energetic field and to be more calm again and have this wonderful clarity around me and inside me. So maybe you like to try to, on a windy day, go outside and imagine how the wind blows off all those nasty negative things, feelings, energy, thoughts, everything. The wind blows it all away, all your worries, all the things, the wind just blows it all off. It's all gone. Imagine it and say to yourself, I let go and I am free. And smoke has kind of the same or a similar effect too. And for me, smoke is not only the element air, it kind of represents the element fire too, because it's like this combination of fire and air and then there's smoke. And you can use this smoke for cleaning your aura, cleansing this energetic field and your dots and everything and giving the smoke some good new intentions. For example, I like to use some incense sticks or an incense bundle, maybe sage or something like this. And then I like to use it like this. I blow the smoke to my head, to my heart, to every part of my body. It depends what I, how I feel like, you know, where I want to put the smoke. And then I just like to imagine that this smoke is cleaning off and it's cleaning all the heavy stuff, all the negative energy and all this um, heavy things I don't want to have anymore. All the things that do no longer serve me. So you can take some incense sticks or incense bundle or something like this. And then just put the smoke all over you. Just let the smoke be all over you, you know, like blow it all over you. And imagine how it is cleaning everything and cleansing your aura, your energetic field, your, um, your heart and everything. The smoke is cleaning it all. And I like to say to the smoke, cleanse it all. Cleanse my heavy thoughts, cleanse the negativity, 
put it all away, blow it all away, take it all with you. Just cleanse myself. And after this, after this cleansing, I like to put some other intentions to the smoke. I use the smoke again and then I say, fill me up with peace, love, happiness and freedom. Surround me with peace, love, happiness and freedom. And I put the smoke all over me again. And this helps a lot with being free and loving myself and letting go. And you can also use the smoke for cleansing your room, cleansing the room from all this nasty, heavy, negative energy. You can take this incense stick or incense bundle and walk through the room you want to cleanse and imagine that the smoke takes it all with it, all this nasty, heavy stuff. Just walk through the room and imagine how the smoke takes it with it and then open the window and let it all flow out. And then you can take the smoke again and put some intention to the smoke, the energy you want for your place, the energy you want for your room and for your home. And then you can say something like, fill this place with peace, love and happiness and freedom. This is how I like to use the element air with smoke. And an other simple, small ritual you can do with the element air is to blow something. Like blowing out a candle and make your wishes. And put some intentions and wishes into this blowout. <laughs> like we do it all the time on birthdays, when we blow out the birthday candles. We make a wish <laughs> because the element air is quick and freely. You can also use it for blowing a feather or something or a piece of paper. For this, feathers are really good too, just to put some intentions and blow this feather because feathers are also represent the element air. I do not have a feather here right now, but I show, I show it to you with a beautiful yellow leaf. So I put the leaf, you can use a feather, <laughs> in, in my hand and say some intentions in my head or out loud and then I close my eyes and blow this leaf. <sighs> and then you can imagine that your wishes and your intentions, it will all become true. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got inspired to use this element air more often in your life, in your daily routine maybe. And yes, and it will help you with your self-love, with your spirituality and your healing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then feel free to join this beautiful growing community and subscribe to my channel. And I see you in my next video. Have a magical day or night. Bye.